previously on First Wave. Cade Foster. Two years ago, he killed his wife here in Chicago, goes on the lam claiming aliens were responsible, and starts a weird cult website while leaving corpses all across the country. Nobody move! The exits are sealed! What the hell's going on? Try anything! Can we blow this place sky high? Do exactly as we say, and we'll be out of here in 20 minutes. No one gets hurt. Exterior exits are armed with Seneca Mark IV detonators. You can't escape, so don't bother trying. What do you want? I heard you were doing a special on me. Figured I'd join the party. Use your satellite systems. We got to tap into the transmitter. How many people can we reach? Well, if I do this right, then we can use the 10 atmospheric satellites over the eastern seaboard, put you in the living room of about 200 million people. I'm Agent Jackson, Federal Security Bureau. Why the hell should I help you? Phil. Stay out of this point. I heard a man's voice. Maybe he was an alien. Have you lost your mind? If you want me to present your side to the public, along with your admission that you've taken the station hostage, I'll do so. You get your coverage, I get my ratings. If he achieves broadcast, he could potentially reach millions. I have someone on the inside. Someone he'd never suspect. Yeah, the cops won't storm the door. They'll send the bomb squad in. That gives us some time. We're gonna die, aren't we? I can feel it in my bones. Today's the day we're gonna die. We're always one step ahead, Foster. We're everywhere, even at the network. Damn it, what else can screw up? I know, I heard it. Someone must have blasted the way inside. Foster, I got the uplink. It's now or never. Let's do it, Eddie. Okay, Foster. Right now, we're on, we're on. If you go down. Go, 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 go! Ah, Nostradamus predicted the destruction of Earth in three terrifying waves. The first wave is here. My name is Cade Foster. These are my journals. They killed my wife, framed me for murder. Now I run, but I don't hide. With the prophecies of Nostradamus as my guide, I seek them, I hunt them. I will stop the first wave. Nobody knows that the end is near. A massive alien force known as the Gua are quietly preparing to invade the Earth and snuff out humanity. Bullet entered pectoral region, shattering sternum. Kate Foster and I had been trying to stop the Gua before it was too late. We were desperate, and something had to be done. Death was instantaneous. My name is Eddie Nambulus. The entire world watched as Cade Foster was shot and killed on live television. I pulled the trigger. Now let me explain why. We can begin transfer tomorrow. No. Tonight. Tonight? No. There are things that I need to finish tonight. Finish? Finish what? You've had three months to grow the husk. You delivered the orb safely. Now you have done your part. Now you need to back off. Our most powerful Gua has arrived to initiate the second wave. And Mabus needs a body. I 
won't keep him waiting. His husk will be ready tonight. Or you'll answer to him. What do you think? It's perfect. <laughs> Eddie, I was filling up the caddy and the gas jockey called me by my name. I got every cop in the country looking for me. Every alien wants me dead, now I got people calling me out on the street? More bad news, compadre. Kate Foster is about to be the newest tabloid sensation. Just what I need. Publicity. One more thing. See, a short while ago, I noticed a huge surge of hits on the Paranoid Times. Tried to trace the origin of some of those hits, but uh, they were encrypted in a very sophisticated manner. Gua? Well, that's what I thought at first. I tried to crash the server before. Then I cracked the binary syntax of an encrypted message between two of the individuals who have been hitting the site. What'd you find? Well, just a few words. We are living on the brink of Armageddon. As aliens in human form mobilize to seize control of the world, the Raven Nation will fight fire with fire. I mean, obviously it's not conclusive, but it might be that this Raven Nation is organizing to fight the aliens. The Raven Nation? Can you tie that into a Nostradamus quadrat? I'm already ahead of you, buddy. I've been running a cross-indexing program for the last hour and a half. If Nostradamus had anything to say about Ravens, we'll find out soon enough. Picking up spikes in the power. I need to check the generator outside. I cannot affect a safe consciousness transfer without a steady current. No, we need two more. We're gonna set up the ADA station right over there. Hey, where'd those chairs go? Where are you going? Stand down. I have orders, not... Stand down and step aside. My orders are that no one enters or leaves this compound. Those orders come from the Empirical Council, where I hold a seat. Now stand down. Tentative match. The word Raven appears in a few quatrains. That's great, Eddie. What about Nation? Got even more of those. The problem is they don't appear together. You woke me up for that? Yeah, but get this. One of them, Century 4, Quatrain 12, refers to the Brode Nation. What's Brode mean? My translator defines it in French as dark, dusky, black. Or in other words, Raven. Give the man a cigar. The Brode Nation will swiftly rise on the fortnight of its own prophecy. The scholar who solves the great riddle points the way to the bloodstained globe. What's the Raven Nation's prophecy? Well, it seems like the messages I decoded referred to alien invasion. It's Armageddon. A fortnight, what's that, two weeks? Hmm. When did you notice the surge of hits on the website? About two weeks ago. Oh, man, Foster, this could be the Omega Quatrain. The one that signals the end. Now, hold on, we don't know that. It says here there's a scholar who can point the way to the bloodstained globe. Bloodstained globe? Global destruction, man, I missed it! Don't beat yourself up, Eddie. There's no way you could have identified the Quatrain until you found out about the Raven Nation. That was the alarm. There's a clue in the Quatrain. The scholar. Who the hell is the scholar? She, uh, she left the compound, sir. Ordered me to stand down. I've run 
research on every living scholar who's been cited for major discovery in their particular field. Take a look. We can narrow this down. Oh, yeah? Good luck. We're looking for a living scholar who solved the great riddle, right? Hmm. And every riddle has an answer, right? Usually one correct one. Where are you going with this? Scholars of history are dealing with the past. So their theories could only be educated guesses. So take history scholars off the list. Same with philosophers. Okay. I'll also remove anthropologists, ethicists, and futurists. We're looking for fields that allow scholars to make concrete, definite answers to questions. Physics. How about my worst subject? Everything in math was a mystery to me. That's it. Pierre de Laurent. Pierre's our guy? No, no, no. Pierre was a 17th century mathematician who created the last great riddle of modern mathematics. It was called Laurent's Last Theorem. Has anyone ever solved it? Two years ago. PhD at Berkeley nailed it. His name's Peter Mincer. Over here. That way. That. Where are you going? Anywhere. I just need to get out of here, please. Get in. Bring the truck. Bring it now. Route 42, mile marker 17. Professor Mincer, is that you? Uh, that depends. Vajra Rana says there is no you or me, just the flow of psychic process. <laughs> I'm your biggest fan. I read your book, Chasing Lorraine. In the bargain bin, no doubt. No, no. I, as a matter of fact, on the first day of release, I bought three copies. I was, I was hoping you could sign one. I suppose. I never met a, a celebrity. Well, please tell me when you do. Two years ago, I solved the greatest math riddle in the history of the world. Not long ago, they would have given me a ticker tape parade. Now I can't even make People Magazine's picks and pans. Yeah, well, I suppose you have to write about something wild to get attention these days, like, uh, like aliens, end of the world. That new militia group, the, uh, the Raven Nation. The Raven Nation? Who are they? Well, they, uh, they believe that an alien force has infiltrated the planet. Well, you know what I believe? My class is about to begin. Thank you for the ego boost. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not doing so well. Um, uh, 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 What's wrong? I don't feel so good. Uh, uh, You're bleeding. Your nose. Your ear, too. But I think the professor's clean. Looked at me like I was a nut. You're losing your instincts, buddy. I just called a guy who knows a guy I know at Berkeley. Oh, wait, wait, you just, you just called a guy who knows a guy you know? I know. Well, why don't you call the guy you know directly? It doesn't work that way. Can we move on? Please. Well, it seems that Mincer hasn't been the same since solving Lorenz's last theorem. How so? Well, he spends his nights and weekends locked in his office, won't let anyone in. I mean, even janitors have been instructed to keep out. What's he hiding? Well... 
half his colleagues think that he's working on a new math theory, and the other half think that he's just given up, um, lost his will. We're running out of time, Foster. I know. Believe me, I know. I need a team to Route 42, mile marker 11. Destroy the body and get rid of the truck. I want no traces. Is there a building nearby? Nearest building's a church, uh, 2.5 miles northwest. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession? This is my first. Look, I, I don't have much time. I was part of a plan. I was a willing part of a plan that would have resulted in countless deaths. But at the last minute, I couldn't go through with it. People we found here, they're not like us. They I can't kill them. Not anymore. But for these sins, I don't know how this goes. I, I just want forgiveness. Are you genuinely repentant for your sins? Spirit, the Lord forgives you. Amen. Thank you.
What do you want? There was no woman here, my son. I'm not your son. No one enters my office. I can't let you do that. Sit down. Why? You're a mathematician, add it up. See, you and I are part of an apocalyptic scenario that's playing itself out as we speak. And we're running out of time. Now tell me, what have you been doing in here? I've been working on a new math program. Wrong answer. Let's try again before I show you my own personal version of Doomsday. What have you been doing? I told you, it's a new math program. What do the gates of hell have to do with new math? Everything. It's a Bible code, okay? My math program, it's a code that locates hidden messages embedded in the text of the Bible. So far, I've used it to accurately predict the time and date of the Honduras flood, the Turkey earthquake, the Oklahoma City bombing. So why are you sitting on this? You want fame? There's your fame. Doesn't matter anymore. Those are just small events. The, the first signs. For what? Armageddon. And according to my research, it's on its way. The Antichrist will rule. You believe the Antichrist is coming? <laughs> you don't understand. He's not, he's not coming. He's already here. That's what this is all about. And this is why I developed the math program. Then don't give up. You can. Because according to my research, you can help stop it all from happening. But I've run out of luck. I've tried every variation of the word antichrist. Uh, in Hebrew, Greek, Latin. I'll give you a word to plug into your Bible code. Try G-U-A. Gua. Any sign of the human sympathizer? No, sir. No, sir. No doubt she's miles away by now. You. You were under orders to allow no one to leave the compound. My orders! And what was it you did when approached by an individual with access to Mavis? I... I let her... You let her take a stroll into the woods, if I understand correctly. Can you please explain the rationale behind your decision? She... she pulled rank. I... Hmm. I can accept that. Thank you. He died for your sins. From now on, I expect you'll follow my orders without fail. I'm searching original Greek text. So how does this work? Well, my statistical analysis uses mathematical equations to identify words. I start by entering a word like gua. Now, my program has found gua in more than 300,000 mathematical permutations. Right now, it's applying those mathematical models to locate recognizable letter and number sequences buried in the text. Now it's my turn. Who is Gua? Gua isn't exactly a who. It's an alien race come here to invade us. There will be an amassed army of creatures, their numbers beyond counting, and they will fall upon all the nations of the Earth. And on that first day, 19 million shall perish. 
out at you. That's not Bible code. That's straight out of scripture. Mm. It's done. What's that? <sighs> Random numbers and letters that the code didn't make sense out of it. They look like map coordinates. Did they have those back in biblical times? That's it. Eratosthenes, a, a, a Greek mathematician, he measured the circumference of the world in 232 BC by using the angle of the sun's rays. Can we translate these numbers? Of course. All his measurements were based on 491.87 miles. That's the distance between Alexandria and Syene, Egypt. There it is. Latitude, longitude. 45.217 north. 84.47.22 west. I have a map for you. Forest, Michigan. That's where it begins. Armageddon. I just saw this television promo with your face plastered all over it. You look really good on screen. I think you could actually make it in television. Thanks, Eddie. This is Peter Mincer. Oh, my God. I, 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 I've been following your work since you unraveled the Pythagorean hypothesis back in 91. It was pure genius. Thank you. Yeah, and the way you dissected the Hyperion pentagram and the implication it has for all of quantum physics is incredible. Eddie, we got an invasion to stop. Can this, uh, can this wait till later? Yeah, yeah, yeah uh, of, of course, of course, I'm sorry. Did you trace those coordinates we gave you? Yes, yes, it came from the center of the woods just off of Route 6. I've also been monitoring that area with my dish, checking for anything unusual. Picked up a lot of scrambled microwave communications. From where? Everywhere. If it's Gua, this whole area is covered with them. Then we're right. Maybe. I'll go check it out. I'll go, too. You stay here with Eddie. I move faster alone at night.
damn husk. You should have neutralized your basic motor skills. Slowly, I already lost Mavis' orb. If anything happens to his husk, King's gonna kill me. So the Gua were going to transfer the consciousness of their leader into your body. Makes sense. Out of 117 human archetypes, you survived. Why not go straight to the source when selecting the best possible human body? It's a compliment, Foster. I'm flattered. I mean, you left enough blood behind in your battles. They must have used some of it to make a clone of you. But they don't have a consciousness to transfer. They lost it. The orb holding Mavis is gone. Did you say Why, Mavis? Mavis? That's what I overheard. What? Mavis is the third Antichrist of Nostradamus. There's a general consensus that Napoleon and Hitler were the first two. And Mavis is the third. The last. What? He unleashes... Armageddon. Mavis came here to launch the second wave. That would explain the second part of the Quatrain. The scholar who solves the great riddle points the way to the blood-stained globe. Points the way. The blood-stained globe isn't the Earth. It's the lost orb, the one containing Mavis. But how do we find it? While you guys were running around this morning in the woods, I picked up this radio transmission. Uh, coroner was dispatched from Forest. The coroner? Yeah, yeah, some, uh, a woman died outside of a nearby church. I don't know how, but the priest was really freaked out. He said there's a lot of blood, but no wounds. And we're looking for a blood-stained orm. I'll go check it out. Look, I have to go with you. I've been searching for the Antichrist for Mavis for two years. You can't deny me this. I'm as much a part of it as you. You watch the clone. Well, thanks a lot. So, you play canasta? Where do we look? I'm back. That's where he said they found the woman. You see the way she looked to you? I didn't notice. We start. She could have died anywhere. What is it? That statue. Saint Anthony, patron saint of lost and stolen items. Something stained the stones here. Looks like blood. You were standing. There's evil in this church. Stay away from the mincer. I want the orb. No, you don't. We're gonna find a way to destroy it. Why would I want to destroy it? What are you talking about? I was ignored. I was trivialized. But not anymore. My research has revealed that the one who frees the Antichrist will sit at his right hand forever. And that is my destiny. I can't let you do that! Mentor!
Are you, are you Gua? Yes. I, I, I have something for you. Search. I found Mabus. Mabus will demand retribution for this action. I'll instruct one of my acolytes to bring in Cade Foster. I don't understand. A woman bled to death. Why wasn't the area roped off? It's my fault. I pulled a favor downtown to handle the matter quietly. The body was removed, but no official announcement was made. Why? If a statue of the church bleeds, that's a miracle. But if somebody bleeds to death while praying before a statue, we couldn't let that get out. It was a mistake. are everywhere. Who are you? Wait! Wait! Foster, you gotta get out of there fast! The scanner's going wild! Someone made you at the church. There's a massive manhunt forming. We gotta get on top of it now! Okay. Okay. Pack up the caddy, Eddie. I got an idea. I know how we can warn people about the second wave and get the cops off my back for good. Where are we going? Chicago. Little story about Kate Foster. Remember that ad for the Phil Tennant show? They're about to have a special guest.
worked. Yeah, Velcro. What about the husk? Did it dissolve? Nope. I took a gamble that the Gentech body needed to have the Gua consciousness activate the dissolve mechanism in the DNA. So that's it. It's over. It wasn't easy, man. I mean, even though it was only a clone, shooting you was the toughest thing I've ever done in my life. That's good to know. Yeah. Cops think you're dead. You're a free man, Foster. Yeah. Yeah, but free to do what? We lost the orb. Maybe it's still out there. They'll grow a new body. Yeah, but not overnight. I checked the Bible verses Minster was quoting. Revelations 13, 3. The Antichrist will suffer a fatal wound to one of its heads. This might have been it. How many heads does it have? Seven. Great. Look at the bright side. We slowed him down. Yeah, but for how long, Eddie? A week? A month? We gotta find that orb. We gotta find Mabus. I know. That militia group. The Raven Nation. Where are they from? Hell if I know. But the messages I decoded, they originated in eastern Ohio. That's where we gotta go. There's a woman I want to talk to.